Larry James here. I'm going to break the monotony up a little bit and give you just a little bit of comical antics, if you will. I want to tell you about a situation that I experienced not too long ago. I was expressing to people about my book, my second book, and I was getting different responses and different uh, input, and I felt fairly confident about it because I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm a pretty confident person. And once I put a product out, I feel pretty good about it because I do spend the time necessary to make certain that I cross my T's and dotted my I's. But I was expressing my second book to a couple of people or a room full of people at one point, and they were saying, well, wow, that's a lot different than the first book. And the reason for that was simple, but I hadn't really explained it to them yet. The reason for that was my first book, I made a lot of mistakes on purpose so that people can see you don't have to be perfect to start out. You get better as time goes on. Now, some of those mistakes I made, I didn't have to make. I know that, <laughs> but I did on purpose. So I'm saying that to say this, it's okay not to be 100% the first time. As long as you do what? Start. You have to start something. I can't or this person can't criticize, which is what they will do, until you have a product. Right? Does that make sense? Anything less, you're just walking side by side with them. So don't worry about that type of criticism. That's going to come whether it's a perfect book or whether it's not. Whether it's a perfect product or whether it's not. So just do it. <laughs> SpeakerLab.com